seasons are changing, so yeah. Well, the seasons cool. always change. Though. Well, I don't think it. Seasons are changing. Yeah, bro. Welcome to the world. What is up? My name is Eric. This channel is called Report and Opine. I am back. This, of course, is the epicenter for all of your current and captivating coastal elite chaos. So please hit that subscribe button, like the video, ring the notification bell, leave a comment or two, share this with a friend. Let's go. So the climate propaganda, this nonstop sun monster shenanigans, it is never ending. And I know there's a lot of other stuff going on. Epstein, illegal aliens, transformers, all types of stuff. But those are sort of here today, gone tomorrow type of issues. And I promise you that if you show somebody one of these transformer non-binary surgeries, minds can be changed. But with climate, they just move the goalposts and they do move the goalposts with every single other issue. But this one is a little bit different from the ozone layer, climate change, climate crisis, climate catastrophe. They just push it back another couple years and throw a informational flag on your YouTube videos. It is quite literally never ending and it's supposed to be that way. The idea of fixing a problem that some people believe is real and dire is laughable. They know there is no solution, but they still buy into the problem. Now, I could make the argument that if there is no solution, it's not really a problem. It's just a fact of life, but that's more of a philosophical thing. And we know that I think it was actually James O'Keefe who exposed CNN saying that they were going to push climate change hard after Rona subsided. I think there's just like a COVID fatigue. So like whenever a new story comes up, they're going to latch on to it. They've already announced in her office that once the public is will be open to it, we're going to start focusing mainly on climate. It's our it's going to be our focus. Like uh, like our, our focus was to get Trump out of office, right? Without saying it, that's what it was, right? So our next thing is going to be for climate change. Of course, they are also trying to bring that back with this triple dimmick or RSV flu, whatever. It doesn't matter. The climate nonsense is here to create chaos and scare people. And I even tried to talk to some people in New York City and predictably most of them said that climate change is a big problem, but they literally laughed at me when I asked them about any solutions and, and we'll get there. But first I wanna talk about or look at some of this climate hysteria that has been posted to Instagram by these so-called news outlets. From Vice News, 2023 has been the hottest year on record so far. Throughout 2023, global temperatures broke records, making it the hottest year ever recorded yet, which I don't even think that's grammatically correct, but we're not here to talk about grammar. The world suffered extreme weather events from deadly heat waves to devastating flash floods and droughts. And that's another thing that I've always kind of made a joke of is that whether it's a drought or a flood, whether it's a hurricane, whether it's an earthquake, it doesn't matter. It can always be blamed on climate change. 2023 has shattered climate records, whatever that means, accompanied by extreme weather, which has left a trail of devastation and despair, according to the UN. Now, obviously, the UN is a completely corrupt organization, but this is what they do. They talk up these weirdo academic organizations and pretend it's fact, even though it's all completely false. Professor Pateri Talas, head of the WMO, said, quote, Greenhouse gas levels are record high. Global temperatures are record high. Sea level rise is record high. Antarctic sea ice is record low. It's a deafening cacophony of broken records. Extreme weather is destroying lives and livelihoods on a daily basis, underlining the imperative need to ensure that everyone is protected by early warning services. So... I mean, this is a classic example of just creating chaos and making sure that you scare the crap out of people. Let's look at the real. 2023 has been the hottest year on record so far. It's official. The UN's World Meteorological Organization has said 2023 shattered climate records as the annual temperature reached 1.4 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. And... Above 
pre-industrial levels. Okay, so that is them making sure that you know it's our fault. It's the fault of humans. So we're supposed to basically stop breathing. There's another article about that to save the planet. But it's like, if you can't live, then what's the point in saving the planet? But, you know, trying to make sense out of any of this isn't, isn't even worth the time. Well, barely worth the time. Here I am trying to do it, but whatever. Throughout the year, more than a third of days registered over 1.5 degrees Celsius, according to climate data from the European Union. By November, the year had gone through six consecutive record-breaking warmest months, and even included... Yeah, okay, the European Union and record, records being broken, and then they have this oh, dramatic footage of people in a water fountain and all this. It's all absolute nonsense, and we know by now. It should be painfully obvious that every single one of these things is only meant to control people, right? By the year 2035, you're going to drive an electric car, you're going to eat the bugs, you're going to own nothing and be happy. It's nonstop. From Vox.com, they say more than 1.2 billion sheep are farmed for wool. This type of animal agriculture is often seen as exempt from the hard trade-offs of farming animals for food. But it's terrible, not just for animals, not just for animals, but for the planet. Sheep farming emits high high volumes of methane and there we have it the sheep farts cow farts it's all absolute nonsense and i don't know who this is convincing anymore it continues um a potent greenhouse gas and also drives carbon emitting deforestation as it takes up vast land areas that could otherwise host native carbon sequestering ecosystems the chart above shows just one of the studies estimate of carbon dioxide equivalent emissions in kilograms per 264 grams of fiber for seven different fabrics. As you can see, wool production is the worst offender compared to alternative fabrics. So now they're telling you that you shouldn't wear wool. And of course, it comes with a cute little infographic from Fox 10 Phoenix. Heat waves plagued nearly every corner of the world in 2023, which sent temperatures into record territory. This is a story from a news outlet in Phoenix saying it's hot. Yeah, it's really hot in Phoenix. This we know. From now this earth, here are nine ideas for you to implement in 2024 to be more eco-conscious. Little steps make a huge difference in a huge difference in helping fight the climate crisis. And they just say these things as though there is no other option. Same thing with the local Bay Area news. They say things like, oh, well, our beautiful, handsome, strong governor has implemented a new law to fight climate change. And they talk about it as though there is no other option. It's completely ridiculous. And now they're at the point where they want you to take advice from dogs, apparently. Don't be so quick to accelerate. It uses more gas. Also consider taking tr public transportation. And of course, they add the cute little dogs here. I guess that's going to convince somebody. Shop locally. Less shipping, less carbon used, and supporting your local community. What could be better than that? Eat less animal products. Perfect, right? Except for the bugs. Eat those bugs. But the bugs aren't animals. Unfortunately, consuming overly farmed products like meat and dairy leads to more greenhouse gas emissions. You might already do meatless Monday, maybe throw in a tofu Tuesday. Eat bugs, eat soy, eat tofu, according to the dogs. I don't even know. I guess the only reason they threw the dogs in here is to, so I don't know, it catch the attention of like a college girl or something because I don't know what this has to do with dogs at all. Buy less. And I've heard this in person, oh, buy less. What are you even talking about? Sure, I mean, we could all afford to save a little bit of money, I suppose, but it just, it's all nonsense. In general, overconsumption contributes to the overall decline of the planet. So think twice before your next shopping trip. Yeah, I, I guess we're all going to do that, but not to save the planet. Avoid fast fashion. Fast fashion is a huge contributor to greenhouse gas emissions, as well as unfair labor practices. So choose products of quality over quantity when you can. Turn off lights. Sorry, your parents were right. Get into the habit of shutting off lights. And these are things that people, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess it's, a, it's sort of a running joke that, you know, fathers all over the country would, you know, turn off lights and turn down the heat. Unplug that clock, boy. You can't tell time when you sleep. It's two cents an hour. That's just common sense, right? Like if you leave the room, you turn off the light. But but they want to turn it into some like scary thing that turning off the light 
is going to help you live longer and save the planet, use rechargeable batteries. Okay? And they don't ever want to talk about how the batteries work or where that stuff comes from. Just obey us. As per usual, with every single issue, they pit, they throw at us. These batteries provide more energy than it takes to make them, and they'll save you money, too. Change the thermostat by 1 to 2 degrees. Again, another classic dad thing. Turn the heat down. Turn the lights off. That's common sense, but now they are turning it into this, like, a dog told you to turn the lights off and turn down the heat to save the planet. Adjust water heater to 120 degrees. Use less energy by adjusting your water heater from the standard 140 to 120 which is what most homes need. Easy peasy. This is all completely ridiculous, and I get it. it. It's so it's so wild. It's so unimaginable that they have to throw the dogs in there to get the attention, and then cl- I mean, claim that the dogs are telling you what to do. From post climate, the nation's capital, built on water, struggles to keep from drowning. I mean, how many years have they been telling us this, right? Oh, water levels are rising, drought, flood, it doesn't matter. Just obey us. I mean, I don't, as long as, again, as long as they're going to keep doing this, I'm going to keep doing this because I feel like I'm saying the same thing over and over again, but it's the same answer to the same ridiculous statements that these publications keep making. This is the shoreline George Washington would have seen in 1791 when he chose the site for the nation's new capital. It was a land of wetlands, marshes, and creeks. Okay. From CNN Climate. And they, they have entire accounts just dedicated or, or solely dedicated to climate fear-mongering. The year's extreme weather shows what a warming planet is capable of. Okay. Look at that. Oh. That's all climate change. This is the climate. It's your fault. And if you don't eat the bugs and live in the pod and take public transportation, then you're killing people. Everything boils down to life and death with these people, right? Whether it's the climate, whether it's Rona, whether it's trans surgeries, it's always going to be life and death. And you will die and you will kill others if you don't listen to us. Again, from post-climate, seven easy climate actions you can take in 2024. Cute little infographic as well. Eat more lentils. They're telling you what to eat. Well, of course they're telling you what to eat. Don't eat red meat. Don't eat cheese. Save the planet. It doesn't make any sense. And obviously, and there's a Portlandia joke about people eating lentils and beans and stuff at the vegan health food restaurant and constantly farting. Oh, a little gassy. Yeah, I'm feeling the same thing. And these wooden seats, I wish they had, no, I'm... I wish they had cushions or something. Oh, they would have to wash them all the time, right? Yeah, so... Yeah. Can you hold my hand for a second? Yeah. Is okay? Yeah, I just, I gotta get this fart out. We're gonna keep talking. Okay. Just... Take your fart. Look, our library is falling apart. At our school, mm-hmm. if they had a new, if they were, I'm farting right now. Mm-hmm. If they built a new facade or anything in the library, I'm still farting. Yeah. Not only would we be out of money, I mean, the entire town would be out of money. Because a lot of that is subsidized, I'm farting. Yeah. And they were trying to work on some kind of a new tennis court, I'm farting. Mm-hmm. And that fell apart. And I thought, you know, I'm going to complain I'm farting. Yeah, I was I was farting during that whole thing. What do you think about tomorrow? What do you feel like doing? I can't. I honestly can't think about tomorrow. I know. I'm just trying to make you conversations. Know, this. Hi, you two. I'm so sorry, but we've been getting a lot of complaints. Um, if you do need to flatulate, we have a designated area. Wait. Now I'm all loosey goosey. Yeah, and it I doesn't would... disturb all the other. People I know. Eating. I felt so constrained in there. <clears throat> wow. What was that? I thought a little mustard seed? Apple for some reason. It smells mm-hmm. like apple. When in Rome. <laughs> Stop pre rinsing dishes. Use bar shampoo. Get a bidet. They're more hygienic, less wasteful, and do the better and do the job better. Bidets cut household consumption of toilet paper by about 80% until they start crying about how much water the bidet uses. It's a catch-22. You cannot win. The game is rigged, quite obviously. Realize your sweater can be forever. Yeah, I already do that, right? I've been wearing the same flannel for over a decade. I made that joke on Instagram as well. Pay closer attention to nature. Don't use bug zappers. None of this means anything. Well, it means one very clear thing, which is obey us. 
from now this earth and now this politics, new study finds that human evolution may pose challenges for global environmental problem solving. So again, you are the carbon emission they hope to eliminate. From USA Today, climate change is leading us to these five disastrous scenarios. Five Earth systems were signaled as severe climate tipping points in a, in a report by global tipping points. Whoever that is, we should just trust them, apparently. These points of no return are specific moments when the planet has warmed so much that certain effects become irreversible. We've heard that before, right? And we're like, the world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change. After New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez invoked the 12-year deadline, she responded to critics by tweeting, you'd have to have the social intelligence of a sea sponge to think it's literal. The melting of the Greenland ice sheet. The melting of the West Arctic, Arctic ice sheet. The dying off of warm water coral reefs. Which scenario is the biggest threat to humanity? And there you go. Which one are you scared of most? How, how are we going to fix this? Of course, they don't want to fix it. They just want to control you because as we will see, Everybody knows there is no solutions to any of these problems. The authors provided some key recommendations to change course, including eliminating fossil fuels by 2050, introducing positive changes in high emitting sectors like transportation, convening a global summit on these turning points. Yes. So get the world elite leaders to tell us how we're going to live our lives. Meanwhile, they're going to keep flying in private jets from the cut. In New York Magazine, don't let climate anxiety stop you from having kids. The battle to save the planet shouldn't be waged over the bodies of women. So I guess this sort of sounds like a good thing. Like, don't let the climate, you know, zealots stop you from having kids. But also they try to roll in abortion there somehow, I believe is what's happening. They say the hard truth is that parent or no, there is no shrinking your responsibility to build a better future. How can you justify having kids in the midst of a climate crisis, not to mention the carbon footprint of a large family? I mean, they're, they're literally telling you, stop reproducing, don't do that, because it's going to kill the earth. So now the earth is more important than you living on the earth. I mean, I'm triggered. But yeah, don't let climate anxiety, which we gave you, don't let that stop you from having kids. I mean, this is an absolute mess, to put it nicely. Again, from post-climate, these U.S. cities had their hottest year on record in 2023. Austin, Baltimore, El Paso, Fort Myers, Houston, Miami, Milwaukee, New York, and Tampa. So they had their hottest, hottest years on record. How are you going to stop it? I, I, guess, I guess the only way to stop it is to eat the bugs, stop driving a car, leave the border wide open, and let people from all over the world come in and take what you already have, I think. And this is the best one, straight from the New York Post, one of my favorite. They do great work, everything from Hunter Biden to the lopsided boobs of a stripper or whatever. But they say, humans may be fueling global warming by breathing. New study. So they are not hiding it. It is no longer a secret. They want to get rid of you to save the planet, apparently. And this, straight from my YouTube channel, you can go ahead and view the shorts as you as you like without my commentary and obviously i have full videos of this which i may or may not eventually get around to putting out but i think there's two reels here from people that i spoke to in Times square about the climate crisis the climate catastrophe and while it is a very small sample size i will admit it is clear that a they either don't know what's going on b they claim to know what's going on and recoil at the idea of you asking them to tell you what's going on or see just uh just obey uh, who, who are you why are you even asking this maybe uh, i think four years ago the earth was supposed to be in in 12 years did you hear that remember that no nah, no nah, i have no idea no he has no idea no no bro i don't know which is fine i'm not pretending everybody should be informed on this but they're pushing it really quite hard i named what just 10 or 12 or whatever, you know, IG post that headline the climate crisis. And that's just, that's just a handful, right? There's thousands of the, the, those things floating around. Well, is climate change a threat? Are you yeah, concerned about it? You see how she says, yeah, we dying. 
That's just completely made up. She's been scared into submission and thinks that people are dying because of climate change. And she's going to tell us that it's October. Look how hot it is. This is not how it's supposed to be. So that obviously that must be climate change. How nice it is. Do you see what I have on? That's the weather, though. What about climate? What you mean? Don't the weather got to do with climate? Isn't I don't know. Isn't that the same thing? I, I thought so. Can't be bothered, right? Makes sense. No, no, I'm not going to explain any of this to you. I'm just going to walk away. Fair. <laughs> she sounds concerned. Are you concerned about climate change? This is actually the best one. This is the most telling one. So the first guy, he doesn't know anything. Then the second girl, she's just been scared into submission. But this, I think, is the epitome of how we're supposed to be dealing with the climate crisis. Yep. Yeah? Yep. What, what should we do about it? How can we fix it? What's the issue? <laughs> he laughs. How can we fix the issue? You think it's a problem. You admit that you think it's a problem. But when somebody asks you what we can do to maybe solve it, ha, ha, ha. Uh, I don't know. Who are you? Go away. I don't know. What are you guys doing? Oh, we're trying to figure out how we can um, address the climate oh, crisis. Uh, I don't really know much about it, to be honest. Yeah, okay. So there you have it. And it, it loops back perfectly on Instagram, so you can watch it right here on YouTube. Or go to my Instagram, obviously. And then another one from the same day, as you can see, I'm wearing the same outfit. I do have the hoodie flannel combo on lock. Nobody can touch me on that. But that's not what we're talking about here. This is another one where people are going to, you know, they're going to, well, what are you doing this for? Who is this for? As it was. So if I say the Young Turks or if I say CNN, then they're going to tell me exactly what I want to hear. It doesn't make any sense. They're just scared to answer. And you'll see the last guys there, too, who I think, and I don't know this for sure, I think they think... I'm a weird old climate zealot, but then as I sort of open up, pause, you know, we've been professional today. They sort of become less and less abrasive, but we'll get there. To, to slow it down. What, what are, are you filming to... for? What are you filming for? Why are you doing this? Well, it's because every other news article is telling us that we should be afraid of the sun monster. So let's get to the bottom of it. But she can't really be bothered. And she does have a little bit better answer than some of the other folks I spoke to. We're trying to solve climate change. Yeah, reduce, reuse, recycle, repurpose, repair. Recycle, classic. Okay, fair enough. Better, better than some, but still like, why are you doing this? Why would you even ask this? Because they know, as well as I know, that you're not even supposed to ask any questions about any of this. You're just supposed to wear it. Considering that I'm from a country that has like a hole in the ozone layer over it, yeah, kind of. A hole in the ozone layer? Like, I don't know the actual causes of it, but basically there's a hole in the ozone layer and apparently it's over Australia. He doesn't know the actual causes of it. Nobody does. It's all completely made up. It depends on who you ask, but there's a hole in the ozone layer over Australia. It's also kind of like how we constantly hear that, oh, communities of color are suffering from climate change. Meanwhile, it's called climate change, which should, in theory, affect every single person, but it doesn't. It's all nonsense. How could we possibly fix that? <laughs> if, if I had the answer to that, man, I'd be getting paid a hell of a lot more than I do. And, and there you go as well. He doesn't know how to fix it. If I had the answer to that, I'd be getting paid a whole lot more than I do because it's all about, well, it's really all about control, but there is certainly some money involved in that as well. So if I could fix the climate crisis, I'd be getting paid a lot more. Okay. Not to save humanity. It's all about money, apparently. No. Should we, can we tax it away? I think that's what we're trying to do. I wouldn't think so. What is this for? Yeah, what is this for? What is this for? Why are you even asking us? Like, why? Why? What is this for? What does it matter what it's for? If you want to talk, talk. If you don't, don't. But it's very weird how they 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 are of this mindset that I can only talk to a certain uh, a certain outlet. It's like, dude, I'm just a I'm just a guy with an iPhone. That's literally all I am. But they are super concerned about who they're talking to because they could be smeared by a right winger or something. I mean, do you have an opinion on that right now? Yeah. And then he 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 can't speak for himself. Like, so he looks at his friend like, well. Uh, are, are we okay? Can I talk? Can Can you talk? What, what is this about? Like, bro, stand up. But of course, they're like weirdo fruity guys, so they have no opinions of their own. Except for this guy who who we will see, I think, he thinks I'm a climate zealot. But he, like I said, he comes out and says it doesn't really add up. It doesn't really make sense. But he's not going to go, he's not going to go full bore like I do. Yeah, yeah. It's getting warmer. Seasons are changing. So, yeah. Well, the seasons always change. Though. Well, I don't think it seasons are changing. Yeah, bro. 
Welcome to the world. This is what they make it to be. You like using paper straw and doing all of that. I don't think that's working. I don't like the paper straws. We're doing our parts, but then you have all the private jets flying all the time. Was that a shot at Taylor Swift? <laughs> I don't care. Okay. So there it is. A handful of climate change, sun monster shenanigans, headlines from apparent news outlets, along with me basically proving to myself that people are ready, willing, and able to eat this without questioning it a tiny bit.